Come and check out my review of this fun wrap dress that I made using Simplicity 9224. Hi YouTube, I'm Crystal, CrystalSoulsAndStuff.com as well as on Instagram. Welcome back to the channel today where I share sewing pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques and other fun content. So today I'm here to share with you my review of Simplicity by Mimi G pattern 9224 so this is a really fun sewing pattern um and it's a true wrap style sewing pattern and i believe this came out in um spring it was either the early spring collection or the spring collection um by simplicity this year in 2021 so anyway i picked up this pattern because i just love this wrap style and like i said it's a true wrap style so it's not a faux wrap where you just have a bodice the look of a wrap um dress you but it's a true wrap style so you do ha it has side ties um on the inside and then you wrap it around to the left side with the um big tie on the left so if you like wrap styles this is a good pattern for you so now let me tell you a bit more about the pattern now this pattern is available in sizes u.s sizes 6 to 24 and that is for bus sizes of 30 and a half inches through 46 inches but there is a lot of ease in this pattern and i'll get to that in a little bit but i think it can go for a little bit of a lot more wider range than is stated in the pattern um listing and the fabric suggestions for this uh, pattern are like light to midweight fabrics and they suggest fabrics like linen soft cotton chambray silky types and batiks and i use lightweight rayon fabrics that i picked up from g street fabrics a couple of months ago i did a fabric haul a couple months ago with this fabric and if you missed that video i'll link it in the description box and the cards as well if you missed that and then in that video i did ask i, sh I was thinking about using these fabrics fabrics for this pattern and I asked you all which way I should do the pattern because for view B which is the um, view that I did it has a, a contrasting band in the front and so I couldn't decide if I wanted to make the main fabric in this pretty uh, red berry fabric that I used for the contrast or if I should have made that the main fabric or if I should have made the floral the main fabric and most of you all um, voted that I should do the floral print as the main fabric and then this pretty berry color for the um, contrast and I just love how it turned out with these colors it's such a pretty design and print and I just love how these two fabrics kind of play off of it because this um this berry color is almost the exact same kind of reddish berry here in the design so I'm really liking how it turned out with these with this combination. So now let me tell you about the sewing of the pattern. So I sewed up a size 12 for this pattern, and that is for a size 36 inch bust. And then I graded out to a size um, 14 for the hips, and that is for a size 38 inch hips. But my hips are 41-ish right now, 41, 42-ish right now, but there's a lot of ease in the pattern. So so for my size, which is size 12 for a 36 inch bust, the finished garment measurements were 43 inches. So that's seven inches of extra ease built into the pattern. And then for the hips, there is about five and a half inches of ease. So I sewed up a size 14 for the hip area, really according to the pattern measurements, I should be more in a size 16, which is a whole nother um, envelope size. And usually I... You know, I pick my patterns according to the bust measurement and then grade out at the hips if I need to. But there was still enough ease in the pattern because my hips are about um, 41 and a half, 42 inches. And the final measurement is 43 and a half inches. But the size 14 is for someone with hips of 38 inches. And that gives you about five and a half inches of ease um, over body measurement. But still... But mine is, says it came out like two and a half inches, but I feel like there's a little bit more than two and a half inches of ease in the hip, in the hips of this pattern. So there was plenty of room in the size 14, and I like the fit of it, especially for the hips. Now the, the bodice part is a bit big on me, so it's pretty loose up here. So I do have to wear a tank because it'll be too gapey if I don't wear a tank top underneath. But I like the side, the style, and I like the flowiness of it, and it's great for these hot days because I know a lot of people are sewing up fall stuff but it's still super hot here in Maryland it's about 91 degrees today so it's been in the high 80s 
um, low 90s for the last couple of days. So um, I'm still in hot weather mode here. So um, anyway, this is great for giving you a little bit extra airflow in, on hot summer days. So there are 10 pattern pieces. You have your front right bodice, your front uh, left bodice. Then you have your contrasting band. You have a back piece. And then you also have your side ties. You have um, a back neck facing as well as a front facing. And then you also have your back skirt piece. And then you have a right skirt piece, right front skirt piece, and then a left front skirt pieces. So there are quite a few patterns, plus there's an elastic guide. Um, so there are quite a bit of pattern pieces in this pattern. So just be, be prepared to do quite a bit of cutting on this. So it took me like a day and a half to cut because I was just preoccupied with other things. But ten pe there are 10 pieces with the pattern. And then there are 33 steps for the pattern. So there's there are quite a bit of steps for this pattern to get you through the whole pattern. But I think this, the directions are quite clear, but there are a lot of steps. So you just have to kind of take your time and pay attention to the diagrams. And in addition, Mimi G also has a tutorial because there are tutorials for all of her simplicity for Mimi G um, sewing pattern. So, but I didn't have a chance to check it out. I followed the directions and I made it through just fine. So if you just want to follow the directions, I think they're really good. But if you get running into any bumps, I would say just go ahead and check out the accompanying tutorial that goes along with the pattern. So for pattern changes, the only pattern change that I made in the end was to um, cut out the back on the fold. So I just removed five eighth inches from the um, cutting line for the back piece in order to just go ahead and cut that on a fold because I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess up with this pretty floral print when I was printing up, when I was cutting out the design. So I like how that turned out. I was going to go ahead and shorten the skirt pieces because that's a standard pattern adjustment that I have to make. And I did start to shorten the back, actually cut out the back with an inch and a half um, removed from the pattern. And then when I got to cutting out the front, I forgot to um, go ahead and shorten that as well. Um, but I had enough left over to go ahead and just cut out a new back piece with the original um, length. And I like the, the way it falls on me, but if it was, if I was a little bit taller, um, it would have been a little bit too short or um, I'm just lucky with how it turned out the, as far as the length goes. Another thing to note that, that is that there aren't any lengthen, lengthening or shortening lines on this pattern. So if I were gonna go ahead and do it, you would have to make sure for the front pieces to go ahead and shorten it above where the uh, curve goes in order to get it to work for you. But there aren't any shortening or lengthening lines included in the pattern. So you would have to um, work out that if you wanted to add length to the pattern. Or you could just add some length in the skirt, I mean in the bodice piece as well. So I think it would probably be easier to lengthen the bodice than the skirt because of that big angle on the front. But either way, I love how it turned out at this length for me. And plus you can kind of pull it up at the waist <laughs> if it's a tiny bit too long for you. So here are some fun pics and twirls of me wearing this fun wrap dress. All right, thanks for checking out my review of Simplicity 9224. I do recommend this pattern. Um, I would just be more a little careful of the sizing in the bodice um, part because there's quite a bit of ease um, built into the pattern. So I would just double check um, the how much ease you want. You know, just double check the amount of ease that you like to wear your um, dresses for um, according to the style. So, But I do like how it turned out, even though I do have to wear a little tank with it. So the other thing I wanted to just note is that the wrap is um, a pretty cut, is a very a nicely covered wrap, whereas so that the right front does cover up the left front really well when, you, when you're wearing it. So I do like that about the pattern. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'd love to know um, what you think about this pattern. And if you've sewn it up before, let me know how you got on with this pattern as well.
All right. Thank you so much for watching and go, please go ahead. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.